So we're going to start with the customizing of the quick access toolbar. That is the bar at the very, very top of your microstation. And to customize that, you click this little uh, arrow with the line. I don't know if there's a, a good a specific name for that, but that is a drop down menu that bring down this menu that you can then pick customize quick access toolbar. And that brings up the customize ribbon dialog. Now, how this differs from the actual customizing of the ribbon we're going to be doing later is that we do not need uh, <clears throat> for this one. It highlights the quick access toolbar. When we get to customizing the ribbon, the only difference is it clicks on the ribbon icon instead. So or the ribbon word there. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. So let me go ahead and minimize this. And I've got MicroStation in the background. So at the very top is our quick access toolbar. So this is the quick access toolbar right here at the very top. And here's that little arrow that will drop down and give us the menu. And then we pick from there, customize quick access toolbar. So on the far left is what I mentioned. You have ribbon or quick access toolbar. In the middle, on the left side of the of this section here, is your uh, library of things that you can add. This is your components that you can add. You want to add a button? Do you want to add? Uh, you know, in in this case, that's all you can add. When we get to the ribbon customization, let me just pop over there for a second, you'll see that you can add tabs and panels and groups, and we'll talk more about what those are in just a bit. So back to quick access toolbar. For this example, I'm going to add two onto my uh, customize the quick access toolbar. So I'm going to go find design file settings. Uh, there is no search, so you do have to manually go find it. So there's design file settings and then click add, it'll add that over here pending. It's not there until you click apply. And then I'm also gonna add preferences. So I'm gonna scroll down to preferences and you'll notice that there's two of them. I'll talk a little bit more uh, when we get to the ribbon about when there's more than one, how do you decide which one you wanna use? But for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this one and say add and then click apply. You click apply, we'll go ahead and close this. You can actually leave it up. So when you're doing work with the ribbon, you can leave this up so it doesn't have to be closed between every addition or change you wanna make, but I'm gonna go ahead and close it for right now. So you'll see that I've added the design file settings and I've added preference. So now with one click, I can get to the design file settings. I could look at my working units. I could go to the angle readout here and uh, change to the bearing, which is the only place you can change bearing. Uh, so that's the design file settings. And here is the preferences. So I can quickly get to my preference and change the look and feel or the mouse wheel or some customization that I could do. All right, so that's the preferences. And why did I put that up here? Well, it, normally they're not that hard to get to, but they do require you to go to the file menu, to the settings, I go to file, and then I can find the design file settings. So that's how I would get to the design file settings. And if I wanted preferences, I'd go to the same file settings and then go to user and then get to preferences. You'll also see while we happen to be here, this is where keyboard shortcuts are, this is where button assignments are, and we're gonna be looking at those as well today. So by having these at the top, it just keeps me from having to drill down. Now I would give you my recommendation, it's not necessarily a warning, but a recommendation that don't, don't go nuts with this. This is <clears throat> quick access toolbar, it's great for things that, uh, like the dialogues that are maybe buried that you wanna be able to do a one click to get to, but don't try to turn this into every tool that you're gonna use. I wouldn't put smart line and shape and circles and all that up there, uh, but it's yours to do what you want. But that would be my recommendation. Keep it for those 
uh, things that maybe are buried that you just want a nice, easy one click to get to. So that's the quick access toolbar. Before we leave this, let's talk about one other aspect of the quick access toolbar. You can, even when you've added something to it, you can turn it on or off. So you could say, I, maybe I don't wanna see the preferences right now, or maybe I don't wanna see the design file settings. So they're still technically on the quick access toolbar. They're just not viewable at this moment. Uh, let me turn those back on and point out one other thing here. Under the undo, you might look at this and say, well, it doesn't have a check, so it's off. Well, in this case, it's actually a menu. So you would have to look farther down to see the check marks. So it is showing, even though there's no check mark here, the check marks are over here. So you've got your uh, undo. And I haven't done anything, so there's nothing to undo, so the menu won't even open. But if I were to just draw something, you'll now see there's the undo to mark, undo to all uh, menu options. Okay, so that is the quick access toolbar. Uh, there is one item on the quick access toolbar, that's this, uh, what workflow do you want, that is not actually one that you can turn on and off. That is, uh, though it is on the quick access toolbar, it will always show. Okay, so that is the quick access toolbar. Let me toggle back to the the PowerPoint. Uh, the next slide talks about the recommendations on the quick access. Keep it minimal, not a place for tools you use constantly, really more of a place for uh, dialogues that are buried and things that you want easy access to. All right, and again, these recommendations, they're my recommendations, that's not, you can ignore my recommendations if you so choose. Uh, and as I mentioned, sometimes you will see multiple of the same word or the same toolbar. And we'll talk about that. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.